Welcome to another video from SQL Maestros. Today I am going to show you a simple demo to get rid of the sort operator. Now you know that there are so many operators in execution plans. Um, we call them as iterators more technically and sort is an expensive iterator. Not only expensive, it is a blocking iterator and it consumes extra memory depending on how much data it needs to sort. So all in all, it's an expensive iterator and you can try to get rid of it. There are a couple of techniques and today I am going to show you a very simple technique with the help of indexes. Now, on the face of it, the demo might look so simple, but sometimes these simple things get missed out when we do query tuning. So let's straight away jump into the demo. We are using AdventureWorks here and we have a table sales order header. Look at this query. We want customer ID and the subtotal from the sales order header table. We want to group by customer ID and we also want to order by customer ID. So all in all, what we are trying to see is the total sales for each customer and we are sorting the data by customer ID. Let's turn on actual execution plan and let's go ahead and execute this query. You get the data, the data is ordered by customer ID and because it's grouped also by customer ID. So from all the sales, you can see the aggregated total sales value for each customer. Let's jump over to the execution plan. And what you can see is that the optimizer has deployed a clustered index scan. It's scanning all of the data and makes sense because right now we do not have the right so-called non-clustered indexes or covering indexes. And we want all the data because there's no predicate here. So it just goes uh, ahead and scans the entire table. Hash match is being deployed for the purpose of aggregation and then we have the sort operator and you can see that the sort operator is expensive 56 percent is what the cost uh, uh, looks to be and now we want to get rid of this sort operator there are two things that we are doing here when we create the right covering index depending on the columns that are there as part of the select list clustered index scan can be converted to a non-clustered index scan. So we're going to scan less amount of pages. So this will reduce the IO and we might also get rid of the sort operator. Now the query is very simple. It's a single table that we are reading the data from. There are two columns that we want or we are playing with customer ID and the subtotal. And when we look at group by and the order by immediately what comes to our mind is create a covering index which will include subtotal and customer ID. Now look at the order of columns here. I've put subtotal as the first column and customer ID as the second column. Believe me or not, but most people would go ahead and create this index. Why? Because you want to convert clustered index scan to a non clustered index scan. And because aggregation is happening on this attribute subtotal, you tend to put subtotal as the first column. So now if we create this index C1 covering, let's go to this and let's run the query again. What you're going to see is obviously some performance improvement and simply because now clustered index scan has been converted to a non clustered index scan. And you can see that our index C1 covering is being used. No brainer there, but look at this, the sort operator still exists. Now, because you're watching this demo and I'm talking about this, you know that there is a second option and probably a better option. Why not swap the columns? There is no need for subtotal to be the first column because we are really not seeking on subtotal. We want all the data values, but by putting customer ID as the first attribute, you can sort the data using customer ID. So what we can do is let's create this covering index C2 and put customer ID as the first column and subtotal as the second column. This is going to be great. Let's create this index, jump over to the execution plan after running the query. Let's do that. And if you look at the execution plan now, you can see because the data is pre-stored, hash match aggregate gets converted to stream aggregates. We still have the index scan, but this time we are scanning C2 
index not c1 so the optimizer chooses a better index this is cost based optimization and the best part the sort operator is gone this is huge performance difference so the sort operator is gone and this is the right index a very quick technique to get rid of the sort operator you are creating index on the attribute that is being used in the order by clause and that is exactly the reason why i showed you both these indexes subtotal comma customer id versus customer id comma subtotal how a little change can make uh, so much difference in terms of performance now marginal performance tuning you can still do something better just one step ahead why do you even need subtotal as part of index keys you don't need subtotal in the root page and the uh, intermediate pages because we are not using this in a predicate we don't need to seek we just need this attribute for the purpose of covering so we can put this column subtotal as part of include that will not make a huge difference given this table but probably if the table is very very big millions and billions of records then it might make some difference in terms of performance so i'm going to create this third index called c3 covering where i have the index key as customer id data is being pre-sorted by customer id so that will help me get rid of the um, sort operator and we put subtotal in include keyword let's do this the index keys become really small now because we have only one attribute and that's what we want let's go back and run the query again and now you will see that yes yes the optimizer uses c3 not c2 not c1 so obviously this is the best choice given the three indexes all right the demo is over and as part of all the demos it's important that we do the cleanup cheers if you like the content give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon so that you're notified on new videos most importantly visit sqlmaestros.com there's a lot of sql learning resources out there video courses master classes lab kits ebooks blogs hands-on labs and a lot more Follow us on Twitter at the rate sequel maestros and myself a underscore Bunsel. Last but not the least, do subscribe to our newsletters. See you soon in another video. Goodbye.